Good game against a good team. Uh, we heard coming into the game that their second leading scorer, uh, EB, was, was not here based off of COVID protocol. Changed the way that they play, changed their lineups, really changed a lot of the things. To their credit, though, they do what they always do. Rice is 10 and 4 coming into tonight. Uh, in their wins, they make a lot of threes. In their losses, they make a lot of threes. Tonight, they made 11, and they stayed around, stayed around, stayed around. I, I think we led the game uh, for almost 35 minutes, so we were in control, but never really could put them away, and that's credit to Rice. Uh, tremendous. Uh, I, think, I think Scott's doing a great job with his team, and they hung around. But our guys in the second half finally settled in. Defensively, we've been pretty solid turning them over early. Second half, we... We shoot uh, 57%. We have 16 assists and only seven turnovers. We got a number of guys in double figures. Mike Ertle with his blazer high, 21 points on his 22nd birthday. So, how appropriate. Uh, in each half, you had a moment uh, in the first half they tied up, in the second half they were able to take the lead. Uh, but, you know, after that, uh, you seem to be able to just kind of really crunch down, able to kind of take advantage after that. Uh, what were you able to tell the guys, you know, I thought we had some great spurts. You know, when we have Mike and, and, and Jalen in, you know, I, I can't say enough about, obviously, Mike, I just said, you know, nine for 17, two for five, hit some big shots at the end of the clock, which is what he does. And Jalen continues. Today he was much more efficient. He struggled a little bit in his last two games from an efficiency standpoint, but tonight he gets 10 points off four for eight, two for four from three. But the biggest thing with Jalen is, is how he has curtailed his turnovers. You know, last year he was at about two a game. Right now I think he's got 10 through our first uh, 13 games. Tonight five assists and no turnovers. So when he's in the open floor, it allows us to get out and try to create some floor, some, some scores uh, against a broken defense. I thought Taven, we moved him to the four. It obviously was not Kasim's best night. So we, we moved Taven to that four spot. And I thought it, it, him off the bounce, he was really impressive with some finishes in the second half. So. Really pleased with the way we played offensively in the second half. Defensively, again, we had it at 12, 14. Couldn't quite finish it, but uh, a quality win against a quality team. You uh, had Kevin Fun Jackson back in this game for uh, the first time since, uh, you know, end of November. Five, it'll be five weeks tomorrow. Uh, so, I mean, you really kind of sense that tone defensively just out there making, you know, making plays with his hands, just, you know, grabbing and touching all that kind of stuff. Just how important was that getting him back in there and kind of setting this defensive tone whenever they were able to make these runs and get back? Well, he, he's huge for us, and you could tell he was rusty. The timing of basketball you can't replicate. We've got an outstanding training staff, great strength coach, and they have been working with him. And early this week, he passed his strength test where he's at 100%. He's wearing that brace as a precautionary reason based on the injury, and we don't want to you know, take any chances of, of him uh, sustaining something similar. So he's going to wear the brace for a while. His strength level is good, but you could tell he was bobbling balls. The ball seemed like it was eating him up. Uh, he was really, really anxious offensively. Uh, it made me anxious uh, with his anxiousness. Uh, so. Uh, he settled down, I thought, in the second half. Hit a huge three fours in the corner and then followed it up with a, with a pull up from the free throw line. The thing that stands out to me, uh, Evan, as you, as you see, played 16 minutes. I was trying to limit his minutes again because it has been a while. I don't want him to be sore. I don't want him to, to be irritated. Uh, but he played 16 minutes and gets seven big rebounds, which ties Tyreek for the team lead. So his presence is invaluable to us. Uh, our guys did a great job of holding the fort. Uh, while he was gone at three and one, now that he's back, we got to slowly get him back to the quorum that he was prior to the injury. And uh, I guess uh, Tyreek, uh, he's just been on a tear here lately. Uh, I mean, the past couple of games, he's just uh, he's there offensively, defensively. Uh, he's the guy with seven rebounds tonight. Uh, just what's he what's he been able to do these past few weeks? That's kind of really got him focused in. Yeah, I think he's been really aggressive. You know, we've been trying to challenge him to be more aggressive, more aggressive. His stat line's outstanding, as you said, sixteen and. And seven big rebounds, four assists, does not turn it over. We typically give him a very, very difficult defensive assignment. So really proud of his growth, and we want him to stay aggressive. It's good to have Taven being aggressive. You know, Mike's going to stay aggressive. You know, Kasim again, not, not his best night. I thought Trey gave us a good presence at the basket, as he always does. And, and uh, having Quan back again, it allows us to, to play to our strength. Uh, and we were able to do that in longer stretches in the second half. I wish I knew I would bottle that and sell it on eBay. Uh, you know, I, basketball's a game of runs. 
Rice never got rattled. You know, we had them down really, you know, 12, 14 points, they would rally. Game would get even, our guys didn't flinch. We just stayed to the game plan. We make some mental mistakes and every time we did, we seemed to leave a, a Rice shooter open and they're one of the best shooting teams in all of college basketball and they made us pay. I think once we tightened that up um, and we were able to catch an offensive flow, we, we've struggled to score. That has been well documented. We shoot 37% in the first half, but 57 in the second. When we shoot 57%, uh, we're a pretty good basketball team, and I thought we, we showed glimpses of that in the second half. I think at one point they made seven threes out of eight shots, uh, that, of main shots that they had made at one point there in the second half. How do you keep your guys from kind of just kind of, uh, I guess, losing faith a little bit at that point? Every guy <coughs> hit three. Yeah, and it was a number of guys. You know, one of their best three-point shooters is not even here. They had a number of different guys that could make them. They play with extreme confidence, and it's what they do. I think a lot of times our guys thought they were there, but they weren't there enough to dissuade the shot and, again, give Rice credit for knocking down hot shots, hard shots. Thank you.